came out to visit this event. I, on behalf of FIA India and Canadian would, would like to invite you to, uh, to the CEPT workshop, one of its first of its kind, glue lamp installation with Canadian Wood in India. Uh, I take now this opportunity to formally invite Dr. Bimal Patel to first give the welcome speech, followed by Do uh, Deputy Minister Tim Sheldon to say a few words. We will be exchanging a small, we will be having a small ceremony where we will be basically giving out a plaque to CPT. It's just a gesture of appreciation from our side. This will be followed by presentations, short presentations by uh, Gurdev Singh, uh, by Robert Malzak and by Peter Bradfield. And uh, that's it. Yeah. Thank you. Dr. Bimal Patel, can you please step up? morning everybody. I'm going to start out with an apology and first of all thank you for accommodating uh, this change in schedule. This, the Prime Minister's visit has uh, caused traffic problems. I need to be at the airport and they tell me I must leave 45 minutes in advance if I'm to make it all the way around Ahmedabad and to the airport. So sorry for rushing things today. Uh, my apologies and thank you very much for uh, accommodating this request. Um, so welcome, uh, and first of all, um, thank you very much uh, to uh, Canadian Wood, Government of Canada, Government of British Columbia, Deputy Minister is here, and thank you all for being here. I want to use this opportunity to say a few things about SEPT University. Uh, and what we are trying to do here. Um, SEPT University is a 50-year-old institution that started off as a small school of architecture. Um, and when I studied there, there were just 150 people there in 1978. Then we added other schools. Today, it's a habitat-focused university that has faculties in architecture, planning, construction, design, and management of human habitats. We train professionals uh, who have, uh, these are thinking professionals, but we are not a primarily academic institution. We train people to go out there and uh, take decisions, build things, do things. So we are a profession, professional university that trains professionals. We are also a very unique collaborative of full-time academics and professionals, people who are practicing in the field outside, who come and teach here from a, from a large portion of the teaching uh, force here. And uh, we are also closely working with the government to do all sorts of work on policy and advisory issues. So we are a collaborative effort which has sustained for over 50 years and we hope to keep it going. We are sponsored by some very far-sighted and enlightened business leaders of Ahmedabad who 50 years ago uh, uh, created many of the institutions, actually starting 100 years back, created many of the institution, institutions that make Samdabad very special. So that's what SEPT is. Since the last five years, particularly since we finished uh, the 50 years of SEPT University, we are actually now 55 years or 54 years old, uh, we have been engaged in a process of renewal and uh, and, and transformation uh, so that we may meet on all fronts the challenges that SEPT will face over the next 50 years. Uh, this involves uh, transforming, strengthening many, many things at the university, including teaching, all sorts of systems, and of course, infrastructure. And that's where we come in here. One of the uh, we have a brand new library which got inaugurated some time ago. Since then, this facility, which is this wonderful workshop, uh, has got done. 
we have a new canteen, as we call it, a facility that is done. There are two new buildings, one an academic facility, northeast corner, another technology building. So we are in this process of building. As we do it, of course, we want to set benchmarks and we want to ensure that the buildings that we built, the technology that we use is forward looking, is something that our students can learn from and that this become the most uh, important campus for habitat studies in India. It is, but we want to make it even better. Okay? And I am particularly in that context, particularly happy about the way this workshop has turned out. So um, my first thanks must go to the architect of Kutev Singh, who is uh, the person who conceptualized this place, along with the people who run the workshop, Urvishek being the primary person there. I'm, I'm, I'm sure going to forget names here, but uh, these two people come. They are both supported by big teams. I'm not going to get into names with that, but uh, I'm also, uh, I mean, I would also like to say that it's, it's wonderful because when I joined in 1978 in the architecture school in the first year, Professor Gurdev Singh was my teacher in that class and I learned my first drawing from him. So it's wonderful from that point of view. That personal connect is also very important. So, uh, so thank you very much for that. The second most important person in putting up such a facility is the person who builds it. We often forget that, but we had a wonderful contractor here who put this place up in a quick period of time. He's there, Mr. P.S. Patel. He's one of the finest contractors in the country runs a huge, huge construction company, but wants to come to SEPT and make a jewel here. And that is really terrific. Thank you very much. He's also built, he's, he, he and his team have also built the library, you will see, and the plaza and the canteen, and it is only when ideas that are developed get, 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 get realized uh, through good construction that they make sense. So it takes a team to do that. There is uh, other people who are involved, but first I must thank Canadian Wood for the support that they have extended to us um, by giving us, making it possible for uh, Professor Gurdev Singh to realize this, uh, this uh, great dream and um, we are very happy that a new technology has come in um, so that people start thinking a little differently here and we are very thankful for that support. I hope that the relationship continues, um, that we, you, you continue supporting the workshop in wonderful ways, which is when I will say that the dean of the Faculty of Design who is also helping manage this uh, will be talking to you about how we can further strengthen the collaboration between SEPT. Um, this is a wonderful opportunity to have uh, this sort of sustainable technology, sustainable resource here, and I'm very glad that you are here, so thank you very much. There are lots of other people involved in the making of this facility, and my, um, um, there is there's the campus office that has done lots of work and uh, lots of people on the design review committee, etc., who were involved. Um, all of us know that these things don't happen easily. So thank you all. I'm, I'm really happy that this has got going. And um, I'm, I'm certain that for many years this will be a, a, a facility that is cherished and used. Everybody everybody who comes here tells me, terrific, what a fantastic facility you've done. And Urvi, they look at the way you use it and they tell me, 
So this has now become easy. I just say, have you seen our new workshop? Please go take a look at it. So thank you. Thank you once again. Good afternoon. I think it's afternoon. It's great to be uh, here in India, and it's great to be at SEPT University. And thank you, Dr. Patel, for that uh, introduction. We actually were told that all of the people along the sides of the road were there to greet us when we left the airport this morning. So you've now you've now corrected that uh, that perception. Uh, apparently, that's not true. And I'll try not to go on too long uh, because you do have to leave. I understand that. So. Uh, it is great to be here. I'm joined uh, by representatives, of course, of the largest, some of the largest forest companies in Canada uh, amongst our delegation. Um, from John Cozy, I'm not sure where you are, from the Government of Canada, so it's great to have John here as well. Um, we've had a very warm reception uh, here in India so far on our trip and uh, very enjoyable and, uh, as you said, the collaboration uh, that we are starting to achieve with various institutions um, is starting to, to, to bear some fruit. Um, so, as some of you know, FII India and our partners from the federal government and the industry that are here um, have been delivering a market development program since 2014 uh, in India. The program is designed to introduce Indian builders and manufacturers to Canadian wood products and technology, and it continues to show signs of success. But our progress really does depend, Dr. Patel, on those kinds of strategic partnerships and collaborations that you spoke about. Um, with reputable organizations such as uh, SEPT University. So just over a year ago, we entered into the Memorandum of Understanding with the University for the use of Canadian lumber and engineered wood products in the construction of the building where we're assembled today. So on behalf of the Government of British Columbia and FII India, I just want to express our gratitude to the University for your collaboration on this beautiful project, uh, which will serve as a high-profile showcase for Canadian wood products in India. I would also like to recognize the principal architect uh, for this project, uh, Mr. Singh. His vision brought these beautiful glue lamb uh, beams uh, to the project, and the first of its kind, as I understand it, in India. Because of your efforts, we can draw the attention of thought leaders in India to this project, a project that reflects a shared commitment to the use of wood as a building uh, material, building materials that are renewable, they're sustainable, and they are good for the environment. I think that this project will position SEPT University as a model of sustainable architecture and environmental responsibility for the Indian design community, including prominent faculty and alumni, uh, such as those uh, that are here today. This building will stand as a legacy, I think, to our collaboration together, and I believe even more an exciting opportunity this building is, uh, the products that are used in it can ins inspire the next generation, uh, just, just as you explained when you were a student. Uh, here in the design and construction uh, methods. And by introducing Canadian wood species through special projects and course curriculum here, we're laying the foundation for long-term collaboration between our organizations and between our countries. There are many benefits to building with wood. Uh, I probably don't need to convince many of you in this room of the benefits, but in Canada, our architects, builders, and designers know that wood is one of the most beautiful, versatile, and durable raw materials available. It's also environmentally friendly, it's safe, and it's high performing. Canada is a leader in building with wood, not only traditional homes, but now much taller and larger structures, including mid-rise and high-rise buildings, uh, as well as non-residential buildings, such as uh, schools, uh, recreation centers, libraries, and things like that. At 18 stories in height, Vancouver is the home to Brock Commons. Many of you, I'm sure, have heard of this student residence building, the world's largest contemporary wood building uh, located at the University of British Columbia. So these types of projects reflect our expertise and the advancement of wood use in Canada, expertise that we're eager to share uh, with you and, and, and br more broadly with, uh, with India. So as I think about today's global markets, uh, corporate social responsibility and minimizing environmental impacts, um, it's very important. Customers are concerned with where their forest products are sourced from and ensuring that they come from legal and sustainable uh, sources. BC and Canada are leaders in the production of high quality wood products backed by some of the toughest environmental laws. We're committed to the highest standards of sustainable forest management, which brings a high degree of confidence to our customers. 
In other words, our commitment to a socially responsible forest industry means that customers know exactly what they're getting. Uh, they're getting superior wood products produced to the highest environmental standards in the world. India continues to be one of the fastest growing economies in the world with, and a rapidly growing middle class is expected to be the fifth largest global consumer by 2025. We expect consumer preferences will follow international trends, increasing demand for wood products. And of course, increasing demand for CEPT graduates who are experienced with wood. With this growing demand for wood is the need for India to find new sources of supply, reliable and sustainable sources. And that's where we come in. As one of the largest producers of forest products in the world, Canada is convinced that India is the place to be. In support of our efforts, we've established a showroom in Mumbai where we demonstrate what's possible using Canadian species. We facilitate product trials to increase manufacturers' comfort levels with Canadian uh, wood species uh, and their product lines. We deliver seminars and workshops for Indian wood users to educate them on the unique characteristics of species from Canada. And of course, we support high-profile demonstration projects such as this one uh, to uh, help, uh, help people observe what wood can do. So today, thanks in part to these efforts, Canadian lumber is available in the timber markets in most of the major cities across India. So to conclude and, and to let you get to the airport, I'd like to say once more thank you um, to SEPT University for your collaboration, uh, the architects and the workers who helped to realize our collective vision, and everyone else who helped to bring this innovative building to life. It's uh, just fantastic. So we remain committed to working with you, uh, with this university and other innovators in India to introduce new wood products, new building systems that help meet the social and economic and environmental needs today and in the future. So thank you very much. Thank you for hosting us. It's a pleasure to be here. I know Dr. Bimal Patel has to leave uh, urgently, uh, but I would like to use this opportunity to invite both of you to just please step here. We'll just do a small handover ceremony of the plaque here. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Tim, and thank you, FII. Thank you very much. Thanks, Bimal. Thanks for coming. Thank you, Tim, for the wonderful plaque. And thank you, everyone, for coming here. We'll continue with the speech from Gurdev. Uh, going ahead with the remaining presentation uh, sessions, I would now like to invite uh, uh, architect Gurdev Singh to please come forth and say a few words. Good morning, everybody. I first thought there are going to be a whole lot of students and other people who like, maybe we can talk about building, but, uh, but looking at the group here, I believe I don't need to say much, this is it kind of a thing, and don't need to talk about it anymore. But I'll use this platform more to, to, to thank, a uh, note of thanks to, to, to Sept, uh, we have talked to Bimal Patel and, and the team to give me an opportunity to, to work here. And a big thanks to, to Canadian Timber and, uh, and all the government officials and the team and the engineers and everybody who have come. Um, a big thanks because uh, this is the, the dream uh, was kind of, a, we were struggling to, to make it happen and it was facilitated and it's a great uh, thing and I hope this goes a long way uh, uh, for you, uh, for the Canadian Timber to establish themselves in, in, in India. And my um, special thanks to PSP team um, because 
uh, I think it is their team which has put this whole thing together because these skills are not still available in India. And um, to bring this in, in, in reality, I think a lot of people had to learn. We were learning and the team, build and team were learning together and we all worked, discussed and learned together uh, so that maybe down the line things will become easier for them to, 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 to work. Um, and with this, I think I'll, I'll stop and thank everybody. And, but however, I have one more, one small request. I may not be used. I may as well use this platform to, to request. Um, we don't have very many finishes in India available, uh, particularly oil like teak oil or Danish oil or tongue oil or any other mixtures uh, or a protective oil for fire and a protective coat for fire and a whole lot of other things which is a, I have a request to, you, to the Canadian Chamber then, that it will be very nice if a whole lot of these materials are also brought in the market so that we can make use of this. Otherwise, people are a bit scared to, to use it uh, because they feel that I buy, the, I mean, the, question, the most common question asked to me was, how is the timber which is going to come from uh, minus 40, 30 degree or 40 degree going to come in plus 40 degree here? What do you think the timber is going to behave? And what kind of finish you're going to do? You know? So I think issues like that are very important. So if you technically support some, with some of the finishes and other things, that will be far better. And that will help us also uh, do more work without with far more confidence. And thank you, thank you everybody for, for doing this. So what we have done is we have created a video case study on the, the CEPT workshop. We'll just take a few minutes just to showcase the same. Uh, if you could just uh, watch that, please. Thanks. One of the core values of SEPT is its capacity from the very beginning to embrace change. A wonderful example of this capacity to embrace change is the development of our new workshop on the campus. We believe in learning by making and uh, they experiment not only uh, products, they also do their model making, they do their prototyping and everything is all through learning by making and for that we felt that a central workshop is essential or is the core of the university. We're discussing with uh, Professor Gurdev Singh, it was all the uh, materials were taken into consideration and it was decided or it was agreed upon why not to take wood as one of the products or on which the workshop could be created. We were given a brief uh, as architects that um, we need to create a space here which would be inspirational to the students but add a whole lot of new materials and details so that uh, we can expose the students to different ways of construction. And that is where the wood came in because we also feel that wood is a, a very sustainable material. So the, the design of this building started primarily with the, with the new road work which is coming around and the site which is given to us. But the light is a very important component and getting light in reflected through the ceiling and direct is, is something which is required in a workshop here. Uh, it was a unique design in the roof, roof, roof as well. In fact, you know, these were arches and not, not straight, you know, long components. So they were shaped and there's some engineering involved and there's some, uh, definitely some uh, unique QC quality control involved in these products. In the glue lab, uh, when we cut the timber to a, to a particular shape and, and re-glue it together, each piece is trying to behave in a different way. As a group together, they behave the way you want them to behave. But we, we realize that uh, Structure Lamp is a very leading company and very renowned company in British Columbia that is very perfect choice for making glue lamp beams for, for their end applications. Then therefore we suggested and brought the structure lamp into the picture for, uh, for the kind of end application. In addition, wood has been used as joinery, furniture, and in a variety of ways that are demonstrating the properties of how this form of timber can be used to the best advantage. We would like our students to rethink materials. 
For example, in case of wood, they should be able to imagine and build both in interiors as well as exterior. We can find an innovative application of Canadian wood in Indian context. That would precisely mean that we could build prototypes with Canadian wood in various parts of India, in various climatic zones. The new workshop was something which, we has, which was called for for quite some time and it's been a pleasure having it around. Generally when we say a workshop, it's about a shed, it's more of a factory feeling but uh, this, is a, this is an atmosphere, this is an ambience which they have given to the students that it's, it's a place to work and to make. It's a privilege to be at SEPT, to be able to use such a Vangade structure which is not there for other colleges as per se. I now invite uh, Mr. Robert Malzak. Uh, he is a structural engineer by profession, and one of the he played a very key role in designing of these uh, glue lamp beams. Robert, yeah. So, uh, 
Thank you, Robert, for the lovely presentation on building with wood. We really hope that by the time you're here next, we'll have many more projects. <laughs> invite Pranesh Chibar, Country Director, FI India, to please give the vote of thanks. And post that, uh, we'll be uh, the lunch has been uh, laid out outside. Kindly join us uh, in having lunch together. Yeah. Thank you, Nirmala. Uh, thank you, uh, gentlemen and ladies. Uh, I, on behalf of FII, uh, thank Dr. Bimal Patel, who's left us. He had to catch a flight. And uh, our Deputy Minister, Tim Sheldon, our delegates from the BC, Canadian Woodworking Industry, and the eminent guests and staff of the CEPT to have taken time off from your busy schedules and come here, assemble here today to celebrate the first installation of glue and beams in India. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, this is a vision of architect Gurudev Singh, which we at FII helped uh, give shape to, and we are very pleased and proud to have been associated with it. And uh, I can say, uh, architect Gurudev Singh, that keep thinking like this, and we'll be behind you. All right? <laughs> we'll help you realize all the dreams which you have. Um, I am also very uh, happy to... Um, know from the faculty of CEPT that the students have appreciated this, uh, this uh, workshop immensely and they are very happy to uh, be here, study here, work here and I am sure um, they will benefit a lot working in this environment. Not taking much of your time, uh, we had to pre pone and rush a few things uh, primarily because of the Prime Minister of uh, Israel Mr. Netanyahu, along with the Indian Prime Minister Modi, being in the city, everything is thrown out of gear for as far as traffic and logistics are concerned. So we'll have to move a little earlier towards the airport uh, than earlier schedule, so that we are in time to catch the flight. So there'll be quite some detours. Uh, so thank you very much for all taking time to come over here. I invite you now to please join us for the lunch outside. Thank you. <clears throat> Uh, I would like to now introduce the last vote of thanks from Urvi Seth. She is the director of workshops at SEPT Workshop. Uh, she's played a major role in getting all this together. So please, Urvi. Thanks, Nirmala. I'd like to thank all the delegates present here today, uh, SEPT members, uh, invitees, one and all, once again. The uh, the vote of thanks begins and goes first with the board of members and Sanjay Lalbhai, member uh, of SEPT management, who helped and put all the energy and thoughts to even conceptualize this workshop and then make it happen. No smaller thanks to Bimal Patel, because without his vision and uh, energies put in to make this workshop, this would have not happened. I would like to thank Selesh Trivedi, Director CRDF, who has also got in a lot of funds to uh, make this workshop happen, construct, build. My uh, thanks to Asha Jadeja, who has, uh, uh, in initial stages, like four years back, put together the Fab Lab when even the idea of this workshop didn't exist, but her generous contributions has put in the uh, seed for the new technology coming in the SEPT University. Gurdev Singh and Abhay for their wonderful time and uh, you know, energies put in to make this workshop the way we always dreamt of. Campus office, uh, right from uh, Bhargav to Ashish Bhai and uh, Chirag, with whom I had a lot of fights all the time, but uh, without their uh, constant push and presence, this would have not happened. I would like to thank the entire team of FII, Nirmala, Pranesh, Michael, sir, your presence today here makes a big difference, and all of you uh, who have come here to, to grace this uh, to occasion. Thank you so much. Last but not the least, my entire workshop team, without them, we are not going to make this place useful for future. 
So I'd really like to take everybody's name. Uh, Savilash Bhai, uh, he is the administrator. Uh, our workshop technicians, uh, senior most being Yatin Mistri, he is the uh, technician for wood workshop. Uh, Chagan Mahajan, he is the technician for metal workshop. Bhavani Singh, he is uh, the one who takes care of all the machines. Mahesh Vatalia, he is the one technician for uh, ceramic workshop. Junaid, who has uh, recently joined us uh, and working with us uh, uh, next to Yatin Bhai. Kirti and uh, Raju Bhai, with, uh, without their uh, um, support and being assisting us uh, 24 by 7 almost, we cannot really do anything. Tanvir, who is taking care of our Fab Lab, and Gaurav uh, at the back working as RA to Fab Lab. I really thank you all for being here today, and, and with you, I think we'll do a wonderful job and justice to this building to make it work for students, make a place, learning for making for the SEPT University the way it has been conceptualized since the day one of SEPT University. Finally, I thank all the staff members, Jitesh Bhai, Chauhan Saab, Anita Ben, all the leaders of SEPT University, without them we are nothing. And everybody from the SEPT family who are here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks.